Secession in India typically refers to state secession, which is the withdrawal of one or more states from the Republic of India. Some have argued for secession as a natural right of revolution. Many independence movements exist with thousands of members, however, with moderate local support and high voter participation in the democratic elections. The Khalistan movement in Punjab was active in the 1980s and the 1990s, but is now largely subdued within India. Insurgency has occurred in northeast India, in the states of Tripura, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Manipur, Assam and Nagaland. India has introduced several Armed Forces Special Powers Acts AFSPA to subdue insurgency in certain parts of the country. The law was first enforced in Manipur and later enforced in other insurgency-ridden northeastern states. It was extended to most parts of the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir in 1990 after the outbreak of an armed insurgency in 1989. Each act gives soldiers immunity in specified regions against prosecution under state government unless the Indian government gives prior sanction for such prosecution. The government maintains that the AFSPA is necessary to restore order in regions like Indian territories Kashmir and Manipur. <laughs> Jammu and Kashmir Maharaja Hari Singh became the ruler of the princely state of Jammu and Kashmir in 1925, and he was the reigning monarch at the conclusion of British rule in the subcontinent in 1947. With the impending independence of India, the British announced that the British paramountcy over the princely states would end, and the states were free to choose between the new dominions of India and Pakistan or to remain independent. It was emphasized that independence was only a backquote theoretical possibility because, during the long rule of the British in India, the states had come to depend on British Indian government for a variety of their needs including their internal and external security. Jammu and Kashmir had a Muslim majority 77% Muslim by the previous census in 1941. Following the logic of partition, many people in Pakistan expected that Kashmir would join Pakistan. However, the predominant political movement in the Valley of Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir National Conference, was secular and was allied with the Indian National Congress since the 1930s. So many in India too had expectations that Kashmir would join India. The Maharaja was faced with indecision on the 22nd of October 1947. Rebellious citizens from the western districts of the state and Pashtun tribesmen from the northwest frontier province of Pakistan invaded the state, backed by Pakistan. The Maharaja initially fought back but appealed for assistance to India, who agreed on the condition that the ruler accede to India. Maharaja Hari Singh signed the instrument of accession on 26 October 1947 in return for military aid and assistance, which was accepted by the Governor-General the next day. While the Government of India accepted the accession, it added the proviso that it would be submitted to a reference to the people after the state is cleared of the invaders, since only the people, not the Maharaja, could decide where Kashmiris wanted to live. It was a provisional accession. Once the instrument of accession was signed, Indian soldiers entered Kashmir with orders to evict the raiders. The resulting Indo Pakistani War of 1947 lasted till the end of 1948. At the beginning of 1948, India took the matter to the United Nations Security Council. The Security Council passed a resolution asking Pakistan to withdraw its forces as well as the Pakistani nationals from the territory of Jammu and Kashmir, and India to withdraw the majority of its forces leaving only a sufficient number to maintain law and order, following which a plebiscite would be held. A ceasefire was agreed on 1 January 1949, supervised by UN observers. A special United Nations Commission for India and Pakistan UNCIP was set up to negotiate the withdrawal arrangements as per the Security Council resolution. The UNCIP made three visits to the subcontinent between 1948 and 1949, trying to find a solution agreeable to both India and Pakistan. It passed a resolution in August 1948 proposing a three-part process. It was accepted by India but effectively rejected by Pakistan. In the end, no withdrawal was ever carried out, India insisting that Pakistan had to withdraw first, and Pakistan contending that there was no guarantee that India would withdraw afterward. 
No agreement could be reached between the two countries on the process of demilitarization. India and Pakistan fought two further wars in 1965 and 1971, where Pakistan defeated India in 1965 war and was defeated by India in 1971 war. Following the latter war, the countries reached the Simla Agreement, agreeing on a line of control between their respective regions and committing to a peaceful resolution of the dispute through bilateral negotiations. North East India Assam The militant organization United Liberation Front of Assam demands a separate country for the indigenous people of Assam. The government of India had banned the ULFA in 1990 and has officially labeled it as a terrorist group, whereas the U.S. State Department lists it under other groups of concern. Military operations against it by the Indian Army that began in 1990 continue to the present. In the past two decades, some 10,000 people have died in the clash between the rebels and the government. The Assamese secessionists have protested against the illegal migration from the neighboring regions. Since the mid-20th century, people from present-day Bangladesh then known as East Pakistan have been migrating to Assam. In 1961, the government of Assam passed legislation making use of Assamese language compulsory. It had to be withdrawn later under pressure from Bengali-speaking people in Kachar. In the 1980s the Brahmaputra Valley saw six years of Assam agitation triggered by the discovery of a sudden rise in registered voters on electoral rolls. The Muslim United Liberation Tigers of Assam Malta, established in 1996, advocates a separate country for the Muslims of the region. The United People's Democratic Solidarity UPDS demands a sovereign nation for the Karbi people. It was formed in March 1999 with the merger of two militant outfits in Assam's Karbi Anglong district, the Karbi National Volunteers and Karbi People's Front The United People's Democratic Solidarity signed a ceasefire agreement for one year with the Union government on 23 May 2002. However, this led to a split in the UPDS with one faction deciding to continue with its subversive activities while the other commenced negotiations with the government. Nagalim The Nagalim is a proposed independent country for the Naga people. In the 1950s, the Naga National Council led a violent unsuccessful insurgency against the government of India, demanding a separate country for the Nagas. The secessionist violence decreased considerably after the formation of the Naga-majority Nagaland state, and more militants surrendered after the Shillong Accord of 1975. However, the majority of Nagas, operating under the various factions of the National Socialist Council of Nagaland, continue to demand a separate country. 2014 general elections of India recorded a voter turnout of more than 87% in Nagaland, which was the highest in India. Tripura The National Liberation Front of Tripura or NLFT, is a Tripuri nationalist organization which seeks for Tripura to secede from India and establish an independent Tripuri state. It has actively participated in the Tripura rebellion. The NLFT manifesto says that they want to expand what they describe as the Kingdom of God and Christ in Tripura. The Tripura National Volunteers also known as the Tribal National Volunteers or Tripura National Volunteer Force was founded in 1978 with assistance from the Mizo National Front. However, it is perceived by the Indian government that the separatist movement lacked the people's support as the 2014 general elections in India recorded more than 84% voter turnout in Tripura which was one of the highest in India. Topic Punjab Topic <inaudible> Khalistan The Khalistan movement aimed to create a separate Sikh country 
The territorial definition of the proposed country Khalistan consists of both the Punjab, India along with Punjab, Pakistan and includes parts of Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, and Rajasthan. After the partition of India, the majority of the Sikhs migrated from the Pakistani part to the Indian province of Punjab, which then included the parts of the present-day Haryana and Himachal Pradesh. Following India's independence in 1947, the Punjabi Subha movement led by the Sikh political party Akali Dal led to the trifurcation of the Punjab state. The remnant Punjab state became Sikh majority and Punjabi majority. Subsequently, a section of the Sikh leaders started demanding more autonomy for the states, alleging that the central government was discriminating against Punjab. Although the Akali Dal explicitly opposed the demand for an independent Sikh country, the issues raised by it were used as a premise for the creation of a separate country by the proponents of Khalistan. In June 1984, the Indian government ordered a military operation, Operation Blue Star to clear Harmandir Sahib, Amritsar and 30 other Gurdwaras Sikh places of, worship of armed terrorists who were desecrating Gurdwaras by using them as sanctuary. The Indian Army used 3,000 armed troops of the 9th Division of the National Security Guards, the 175 Parachute Regiment and Artillery Units, and 700 CRPF Jawans. During this operation, the Indian Army had around 83-plus casualties with 220 injuries, and 200-250 Sikh militants were killed. The handling of the operation, damage to the Holy Shrine and loss of life on both sides, led to widespread criticism of the Indian government. The Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi was assassinated by her two Sikh bodyguards in retaliation. Following her death, thousands of Sikhs were massacred in the 1984 anti-Sikh riots. The subsequent Punjab insurgency saw several secessionist militant groups becoming active in Punjab, supported by a section of the Sikh diaspora. Indian security forces suppressed the insurgency in the early 1990s. See also Indian general election, 2014 Insurgent groups in northeast India Naxalite Maoist insurgency Further reading Racine, Jean-Luc Secessionism in Independent India, Failed Attempts, Irredentism, and Accommodations. Secessionism and Separatism in Europe and Asia, To Have a State of One's Own. Routledge. pp. 147-163.